Hi everyone, welcome to Facebook Live. Thank you for joining me on a Tuesday. This is not my regular day. Normally I go live on Thursday mornings, but because of a schedule conflict this week, I need to go live on Tuesday this week. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Ruth Norton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Um, okay, we have a lot to talk about. Let's get, first of all, let's get to this. So today, demonstrators were allowed to pre-order pre-orders from our new mini catalog coming up in January and then pre-earned celebration products. So it's a very exciting day. I have already placed my order. I have lots of goodies coming to me. Um, I did pay a little extra for shipping. So I am hoping to go live later this week, probably Friday morning and share everything that I've gotten in the pre-order. I'm so excited about some of the products in this, in the catalog. So if you're seeing something that you love or you've seen other projects maybe on another blog or something somewhere that you love and you want to join Stampin' Up! This is a fantastic time to join because you can put stuff from these cat well from this catalog in your starter kit and then you can um, place more orders and start earning celebration stuff now in December as a demonstrator. Just a perk for demonstrators. So this is a fantastic time to join if you haven't considered it, please consider it. It is so fantastic to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We get so many perks and I have an amazing group of demonstrators. We have so much fun together and I do have some special fun things coming up for them in the new year. So it's a great time to join my team. I always welcome new people. You can join just for the discount. You don't have to do videos or classes or anything. You can just get that discount and enjoy your, your big discount that you're going to get as a demonstrator. Um, other things coming up in January, I have my mini catalog celebration kickoff class. I did post about that last night in my group, um, and on this page. So you can, um, scroll down, find all the details about that. Um, make sure you get RSVP for that. If you are local in Albuquerque, it's just a super fun class and I'm so excited about it this year. We're doing some fun things. Um, also I have posted on my blog about the paper share. So the... Paper shares um, all the DSPs in the new mini catalog, and you get, hmm, I'm trying to remember, I think you get 60 sheets. There's nine different DSPs. There's seven out of here, and then as a bonus, I'm including the two DSPs from in here, too, so you're going to get um, a quarter of every package. So it's just a great, great deal. It's a great way to get a nice sampling of all the DSPs. It's only $25 for 60 sheets of DSP. I believe it's 60. I'll have to double check on my blog, but it's only $25. If you're local, um, you don't have to pay shipping. If you do need it shipped, if you're not in Albuquerque, um, there is an $8 charge to ship it. So you're looking at only still $33 for all that DSP. So it's a great, great way to get a nice sampling of DSP, know what you want, and then you can order more or just keep that um, that paper sure. So let's get to the card today. Um, one more thing I want to mention, the paper pumpkin. If you haven't signed up or subscribed, make sure you do that. The last day to subscribe for paper pumpkin is December 10th, and that is coming up. We are already in December. That is coming up next week. We have exactly a week. Next Tuesday is the 10th, so make sure you get subscribed to paper pumpkin because I think it's going to be a good one. I'm excited about it. I'm always excited about them. I have two on my desk that I have to get done, but I'm always excited about it. This is the card we're going to make today. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm kind of moving off of Christmas right now. I think we're we're pretty much done with Christmas anyway. Um, at least the Christmas projects at my house I think are done. So um, I'm starting to just create some thank you cards for friends or for um, the kids to give out to family members who may give them Christmas gifts this year. So Lots of just, um, you know, gratitude and thank you cards coming. So let's go over the supplies. So this is our, our beautiful card. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love this card. Those purples, love. Okay, let's go over our our supplies, our paper supplies anyway. This is um, Highland Heather. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Get that bone folder. And if you need to purchase any supplies, please head to my online store and use this host code. When you use the host code, you will receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. They are really cute this month too. Okay, we also have Gorgeous Grape, which is five and a quarter by four. It's going to go on our, our Highland Heather piece. We have a piece of Whisper White, which is five by three and three quarters, and that will layer on 
think I cut that wrong. I did. Ooh, look, I'm going to have to trim it. We'll have to get out my paper cutter and we'll trim it down. And then I have um, the, I believe this is the second largest. This is the second largest. Is it the, it might be the largest. Um, it's either the largest or the second largest from the Stitch Nesta label dies. I love this. And then I just have like the next one down and I've just cut it in half and we're just going to layer that behind. So we only need about half of this one. Okay. And then I just have a piece of vellum. This is just one inch tall. Um, and then we're just going to end up trimming the end. So just a little scrap that's at least one inch will do fine. And then we just have a piece of our tricolored ribbon. Okay. While we're thinking of it, let's get our paper trimmer out and, um, cut that white piece to the correct size. My trimmer on right. So if you don't have our trimmer yet, this is a great, great thing to purchase. What do we want? We want it at five, not five and a quarter. That's where I went wrong. The trimmer is fantastic. I have been using this trimmer. I love it. Okay, five by three and three quarters. There we go. Now it's the correct size. All right, we're gonna actually start by stamping on that white piece. So we're gonna move everything else aside. And the two stamps that set up that I'm using today, I'm using two. I am using the Beautiful Friendship Stamps. And this one is one of my all time favorite stamp sets. And you seriously can just not make a bad card with it. Every card I've made, I just love. And then we're also using the Birch Background Stamp Set. Okay, so let's get to stamping. I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus to do my background stamping. Let me put my catalogs away. Hold on, they were on top of my Stamparatus and I don't want them to fall. So I already have my birch stamp in there and you'll see that I have a piece of grid paper in here and you'll see it's pretty used, but we're just using this to, to mark where our paper is going to be. My background stamp set is already all lined up in there and I am going to take my white piece and I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of snail on the back of each one. I mean, just, hardly any snail and I'm going to just line that up with my line. I know that my stamp will stamp perfectly there. Now the reason I'm putting it on here is because I want to be able to remo remove it because we're going to use some Highland Heather ink but I don't, I have my ink pads all stacked, hang on. We're going to use Highland Heather ink but I don't want it to be super bright and purple. I want it kind of a toned down effect. Let me, let me put my stamp set under here so we have a nice flat surface. So I'm going to ink up my my background stamp with that Highland Heather. And then I have another piece of grid paper in here. And I am going to stamp that off onto that grid paper. So we're not stamping it onto our white piece yet, but I want a little bit lighter look. So I'm just gonna stamp it onto that grid paper. And then I'm gonna bring this back in and all I have to do is put that grid paper up in the corner. I know that that is in the correct spot. And that paper's not going anywhere because we just lightly tacked it down with our snail. And then I'm just going to give this a nice rub. And we have a beautiful lighter shade of that birch. And all I can do, because that was just barely tacked down, I can just pull that up and it's ready to go. Okay, let's get our Stamparatus out of the way. We do not need that anymore. And we're gonna to get to making the rest of our cards. So let's bring out, let's bring out our Stitch Nested Label die. And I'm also going to use my paper piercer mat, and then I just have a piece of scrap paper that I'm gonna put on top of that. Because these stamps are photopolymer, you just need a little bit of extra cushion on the bottom just to help them stamp. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Move this over so everything is in camera view. Okay, I'm gonna use my Highland Heather again, and I'm going to use that big the row set. I'm gonna ink that up and I'm just inking it off. I know it's off camera a little bit, but we have a lot of stuff on camera. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this more over to the left because we're gonna end up trimming off part of this. I'm not gonna worry about even stamping to the far right of it. So we're just gonna do this kind of centered um, vertically and then over to the left. Beautiful. I love that. I love the different shades of this. This is one of our distinctive stamps. So you get just different kinds of shades in there. It's so beautiful. Okay, we are all done with our Highland Heather ink. So I'm actually just going to put this away as I go. All right, I'm going to pull out my gorgeous grape ink now. This is a little bit darker than our Highland Heather. And I'm going to do the little insides of the flowers there. So I'm going to take the larger one and... 
The great, great thing about this stamp set is that you don't have to line these up perfectly. They are just beautiful however you stamp them. They don't have to be lined up perfectly and it still makes for a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Okay, we are all done with our gorgeous grape. I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna bring in some Daffodil Delight and this little flower, flowery shaped one. Not sure what that is. And I'm just gonna kind of do a few little, a few little sprigs here and there. So I'll go down this way and I think, I think that's good. Just a few of those. That is all of our Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna pull in my Petal Pink. We're gonna do the other rose in our Petal Pink. And I just love this stamp set just because you can just keep building and layering these images and it's just so gorgeous. So we're just gonna squeeze that Petal Pink one right there. We're gonna do one down here. And it's okay if you're overlapping other images. That's perfectly fine. And then one off to the bottom there again. So pretty. All right, so that is our petal pink. We are just cruising along and then I'm gonna do some granny apple green for the leaves. So let me pull out my leaves image and I'm gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna stamp one and then I'm gonna stamp it again without re-inking and that just gives a couple different shades of that green, which I love. So stamp, then stamp again without re-inking and stamp and stamp again and I just I'd love that just love that look okay beautiful isn't that gorgeous so fun and you can just keep layering or doing whatever you want I just love all those colors together I think that looks so gorgeous okay we're gonna set this aside we're gonna get back to this in a minute we're gonna stamp our greeting and I'm going to leave out my paper here actually I think we'll be okay without the without the paper we want to move that I'm going to use the, one of the greetings that come in the stamp set. It says, I love our beautiful friendship. And I'm going to, we're going to heat emboss it. So I'm going to get out my Versamark. And I'm going to try to, I'm actually going to stamp it upside down. Because, I'll tell you why. Because the stamp, if you look at the stamp, it's flat up here. So if I make sure that I get this nice and flat against this one of the sides, then um, I'll make sure that it's nice and straight. And it's going to be easier for me to see it upside down then the other way so I'm just gonna line this up kind of right in the middle because we are gonna trim each side perfect and I'm going to pull out my embossing powder and for this one I am using the black shimmer embossing powder which I love I love this black shimmer powder and yesterday I spilled an entire container of oh I forgot to use my embossing buddy Woo. we may have to get out my paintbrush um, yesterday I spilled an entire container of silver embossing powder all over my floor. Oh my goodness. That was a mess. So because I forgot to use my embossing buddy, I'm just taking our uh, dry paintbrush and I'm just brushing away any of that excess powder that just got stuck. So always keep a small dry paintbrush on hand. So you can do that in case you're like me and you forget a crucial step. But... It'll still work out. And look at, I think you can see some of that shine and we haven't even heated it up. So it's gorgeous. So I'm going to take my heat tool and especially with vellum, I'm going to let it heat up to the side. With vellum, especially you don't want to have the heat on the paper too long. Um, it will warp the vellum especially, but it could also scorch your paper and turn your vellum like a brown. And that's not pretty at all. So, so we want our heat tool nice and heated before we bring it to our, to our, um, project here and that will just ensure that this is going to heat up very quickly and not scorch our vellum and there it is it's already heated isn't that beautiful it's so pretty that oh I could just embossing is my favorite I think I just it's so so like magical to just look at I just love it so we're gonna just set that off to the side we're gonna let it cool down and dry just for a second while we finish up our card and the rest of the card goes really fast you guys we are in the home stretch here. Let me close up my Versamark pad before we get any further into this. I'm gonna take my snail, we're just gonna adhere that, that birch piece that we stamped onto our gorgeous grape piece. Perfect. So I don't know if I mentioned my, so my pre-order, I did say I 
that it, I paid a little extra to get it here quicker. So it should be here on Thursday. So I am hoping actually, we're just gonna stick this flat down onto our card base. So I am hoping to go live on Friday and share it with you guys. I think I might've mentioned that, but I'm not sure. But I'm so excited to get it. It is, um, I'm super excited about this pre-order in, in particular. Other pre-orders, I don't think has cost me so much stress, but this one is, I'm just so anxious to get it. It's, I'm so excited about these projects, products. So I just have some really fun things planned for January. So I just put a little bit of ad adhesive on that side that we stamped, and then I'm just going to layer this onto that gingham piece. And this piece is from the Brights DSP. It's just the gingham pattern. The DSP, you could use any of them. This is in Gorgeous Grape. So isn't that beautiful? So pretty. So now that it's all adhered, which was a little dumb of me because now we're gonna have to trim it on our on our card, but that's okay. Actually, I'm just gonna use get out my paper trimmer and trim it off. And that will ensure a nice straight line anyway. So I'm just gonna kind of trim it off where, just kind of where I think we don't need, we don't need that piece. So I think I'm, that's a good piece to keep. So I just eyeballed that. There's really no rhyme or reason to that. Okay, now before we adhere this to the card, we are going to trim up this piece a little bit. So I'm going to use my Taylor Tag Punch, and I'm just going to flag this in. So I'm going to push it down till I see the greeting, and then I'm just going to pull it back just a little bit. And I'm just going to flag that. Beautiful. Perfect. Now to adhere the vellum, I'm going to use just a staple just off to the side right here. This is our old Stampin' Up! stapler, but any stapler will work. So just have a little staple right there. And then I will grab my scissors and just flip that over and trim off any of this excess vellum. Beautiful, isn't that, I just love that greeting. And I love it on the vellum because it doesn't cover up any of the image and it's just so beautiful. All right, we're gonna use dimensionals on this, which I didn't get out, so let me grab some of those. Use dimensionals and stick this down. Lots of dimensionals. All right, one more, good measure. <laughs> so what else, what else is going on? The kids went back to school, thank goodness. I feel like they were off a really long time and they were because we took them out of school an extra week so we could go on our, our Disney World trip. But man, I just feel like they were off forever. And then getting all the homework done that they missed. That was nice and fun last week. <laughs> All right, so there is our card. We're gonna add the ribbon, but isn't that beautiful just as is? So I have that beautiful tricolored ribbon and I'm just gonna tie a little bow. So I'm just gonna make little bunny ears and tie a bow. You can tie a bow however is easier for you. This is just the way I learn it. Now, of course I'm fumbling because it's on the camera, right? Oh brother, come on, come on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of twist the Twist the bow a little bit just so that either the the dark purples on the top on both sides. So you can just kind of finagle your bow a little bit. Just twist it around and make sure that it's like that. On this one, I finagled it so that it went from light to dark. But this one, it just so happened that we just started twisting it and both ended up dark on top. So we're going to go with that. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to get a glue dot. Let me Grab a glue down here. I'm almost out on this spool. And I am just going to stick that right over here on the little point. And then I'm just going to trim that, trim those tails a little bit. So there is our card. Isn't that beautiful? I just love, I love all those bright colors. I love the embossing. So pretty. All right, guys, so if you need to order any supplies, make sure you head to my online store. Um, use this host code and you'll get the PDF for this month. If your order's over 150, do not use the host code. Um, you'll still get the PDF, but you're also gonna get Stampin' Rewards. Now remember, if you do wanna pre-order anything from the amazing, not occasions, mini catalog and pre-earn all those celebration benefits, um, make sure, think about joining my team. There's a link in the video description to join my team. We have a great, great time in, in my team and I would love to have you. All right, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're watching this on Facebook, I would love it if you shared it with your friends. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, please um, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye.